Soldiers who leave the army are twice as likely to be categorised as high risk because of their alcohol consumption. Drug addiction among veterans is also higher than average. Well, now, in the first of its kind in the country, a new treatment centre has been set up in Liverpool, specifically aimed at helping former servicemen. Our reporter, Yunus Muller, was invited along to speak to some of the people involved. It, it was more you were expected to do it. If you, if you didn't, you, you sort of, you were outcast. When this former bombardier left the Royal Artillery in 1981, he didn't leave his heavy drinking behind. There followed a breakup of his marriage, a prison sentence, and attempts at his own life. So I was just drinking it into oblivion. As a medication, I was, I was using the alcohol. The psychiatric was, it was like a revolving door to me. Like a number of people fighting severe alcohol addiction, he's tried detox programs without success. I would do it to impress me mum and dad, me daughters, me daughters, you know, look what I'm doing, but I wasn't doing it for me. I was doing it to get an air bulb so I could carry on drinking, basically. It was only by chance that another veteran introduced a 58-year-old to a specialist project run here in Liverpool. What makes this place different is that it is the UK's only treatment centre for military veterans recovering from alcoholism and addiction. The Ministry of Defence has just awarded this service a grant of £400,000. A lot of these guys were just were left, you know, with nothing really, you know, didn't know where to turn to for help. So part of the partnership with Tom Harrison House was they were, I, they were the ones who were finding these guys. They noticed that they needed the help and they needed more after detox as well. A recent survey of 325 personnel found 65% were categorised as high risk when it comes to their alcohol consumption. It actually um, has its advantages here because they're all veterans together. Um, they have a sort of code that, that they live by where their military principles transfer into here. So, for instance, we leave no man behind. Frank hasn't touched alcohol for more than a year. That hasn't happened for four decades. A tattoo on his arm is a symbol of his fight. It's to totally opposite, opposite to everything you're taught as told you, but you've got to surrender to this illness, to this, this disease. For many veterans, coming here is a chance to get back their self respect, confidence, and life. Yunus Muller, BBC Northwest Tonight, Liverpool.